Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Game Jolt's Game Jam system to make your own Game Jam. Game Jolt came out with a super easy Game Jam system that makes it really simple for anyone to make a Game Jam. I've actually typed up a little guide on how to make a, a decent Game Jam, and now I'm going to show you how to customize your Game Jam and get it all set up. So it's pretty easy. Hit the Create Now button, and we're going to call this Test Jam. It's going to create a URL, and not text test. It's going to fill in all this for you. Unless you edit the name, <laughs> you have to go back through and do it all yourself because you've already messed up. All right. Oh, this hashtag's been taken by another jam. We'll call this the test jam too. Awesome. All right. So we've got the Twitter hashtag, which is different from the game hashtag. I'd suggest having it. It means everyone on Twitter taking shit. And here's the description. This is important. It's going to be shown on the listing page, but not on the jam itself. This is jam testing game jolt. And then this is, I don't know much about dish. The time zone that you're in, so that's my time zone. I'm in New York. And these are the dates that you're going to do it in. So if I wanted my game jam to start on the 22nd at noon, or 12 in the morning, I could have it end, you know, the 30th, so, you know, like a week, same time. So my jam will start in four days, it'll run about eight days, and then you click create. So this jam is currently hidden, only I can see it. While we work on it, you leave it hidden, and then you can unhide it and be public as soon as you're done. This gives you an overview of just everything you have. So you can go into edit jam. And this is all the information we just put in. You can change that whenever. You've got the organizers. These are the people that are controlling and can edit your jam. You can put as many people as you want as long as they have a Game Jolt account. Pages are the pages that people can view. Um, and you also can change when they start. So home will be your first page. It shows all it shows all throughout your jam. Live streams are when your jam is running and games are before the jam in progress. I'd also, you know, keep it all. It's just games, game page. But visibility on. Yes, visibility on. I put it on all of them. Anyway, can add new pages, add stuff to it, blah, blah, blah. Game entries here. If people add games, they'll show up here. And if they, if the game jam ends and they don't have a game in there, you can just hide it, whatever. Activity feed. It drags in anything on Twitter that has your hashtag. It's really nice. Voting. You can decide if people want to vote on your jam. You can decide how long you want people to vote on the games. You can have users or participants. You can make a bunch of different categories. So that's pretty cool. You can have people live streams, people's live streams of making the game in bed. Basically, anything your heart desires. Now, currently, if we view our jam, it's going to look really ugly because we haven't done anything to it. Look at how ugly this looks. Got a nice counter, but that's about it. So that's where customized theme comes in. Basically, here you have everything. You can pick colors of basically each individual thing. So if you wanted, you know, link colors to change, make them red. And then anything that has a link would show up in red. I don't have any links on here. So that's sort of useless, but whatever. Have the text color be red. I don't know why I feel red. That's only going to be in the body of the header, and we don't actually have a body in our header. We don't actually have much. Um, on your home page is where you'd want to put, let's go to edit page. On your home page is where you're going to want to put all your information. So if you go edit page on any of the pages that you have selected, it will add stuff to it. So now it says, hey, this is a test jam. Over here, you can change text color. Well, I'm heading, yep, from up here. So it's kind of just messing around with people. This is the one I meant to change. Whoop. That would change anything that's up here. Um, you can add images as long as they're already somewhere. So if you upload an image to Photoshop, you can then add it there, like the link to it, which is pretty cool. You can have the background. Change that. Those colors are atrocious. Here you can drop down menus and you can start editing other stuff. Sure. So we can make text color, I don't know, like right in lime blue. That's going to add stuff within your page. You can put up backgrounds as well. You can put a logo up there and have a logo instead. 
the navigation bar, which is this little bar. You can make that different colors if you wish. Basically, everything is customizable, either by colors or by adding pictures to it. And the countdown timer can even, even be switched from light to dark. I like things lighter, personally. And just hit save, and all of this stuff saves right in. Kind of looks like a watermelon. And it's just super simple and easy to do. You can edit your pages as they, pop, as they come up. Um, to make the word size different, oop, not there. You can just add hashtags to I'm getting tons of messages. Add hashtags to it. There's also a whole page where you can figure out how to bold stuff and how to add links and whatnot. And there'll be a link to that des the description. You can just check that right out. So there's no reason your jam pages should be ugly. That's about it. I mean, it's pretty simple. If you put in some effort and you check out the page in the description, you can change the text. That's it. It's really that simple. So make some awesome game jams. Yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!